Cook from the Chemical Heritage Foundation and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this object behind me which is called a crystal puller and how silicon chips are made. Most people don't know how the chips that go into their computers and their cell phones are made. Sometimes it's something as simple as starting with sand. Sand is one of the most abundant sources of silicon on the planet. Silicon along with things like germanium and selenium are what we call semiconductors. Semiconductors are what make computer chips, cell phones, and even modern flat screen TVs possible. Sand is then refined into what we consider pure chunks of this. This is, happens to be a chunk of germanium. Pure germanium, silicon, selenium are then refined in an instrument called a crystal puller. This is the crystal puller. So a seed crystal of either uh, silicon or germanium would be placed in the base here. This is called a base well. It would be combined with a number of other elements and then over time this shaft right here is very slowly drawn vertically. Gas, both helium and argon are used to provide pressure and slowly the seed crystal is drawn vertically. It's called extruding. It's very similar to uh, taffy pulling. So you would be pulling up, up, up and eventually you would end up with something like this. This is called a, a silicon ingot. Ingots are grown to be very, very, very pure and defect free. For it to be perfect, you have to maintain a couple of different things, heat, temperature, pressure, all of those types of things. Even something as simple as gravity or um, the shaking of a building can cause the growth of the ingot to, to shift and make it imperfect. Ingots can be extruded in any number of sizes, length, width, dimension. Here you actually see two different sizes of ingots. The ingot is then sliced into very thin wafers, which are then imprinted with the base material necessary to be able to overlay computer chip technology onto it. The final product are chips like this that you see right here. These are very early types of computer chips. Instruments like the crystal puller are still being used in the industry by some individuals, by some companies. Um, the technology is still basically the same, however, just with most technology, uh, newer and, and faster ways are, are, have been created to ensure um, quality and consistency, but the concept is still exactly the same. You start with sand, you go to pure element into uh, growing a, a crystal and ingot like you see here. If you want to learn more about the crystal puller or more about silicon ingots, come and visit us at the Chemical Heritage Foundation in Philadelphia. I'm Rosie Cook. Thanks for watching.